Aloha everyone! I'm Kavi and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on a commission piece, stunning, absolutely stunning sideboard. After we took it home we just stared at it for too long. <laughs> All the um, details, the carvings, each corner, <laughs> yeah, it's just such a piece. Our customer wanted us to recreate this piece, which is actually our first uh, project as content creators for Dixie Bell Paint back in 2020. Also, she requested to add more golden wax on these beautiful details. Say no more! Say no more! We are just mesmerized. Absolutely in love. So stay with us if you want to see how we achieved this stunning look. Let's do it! Let's do it! I started to clean the piece with white lightening Dixie Bell Furniture Cleaner and this is a crucial step of the process. Never miss it. I scrubbed it well with an abrasive cloth, then I switched to a toothbrush to make sure I get rid of the dirt in between the carvings. Once I was done with the cleaning, I rinsed the whole piece twice only with clean water to make sure I get rid of any leftover solution or dirt. Now we are going to prime this piece with Slick Stick, which is an absolutely amazing product. It's a must have for us, as it makes the paint to stick properly to any surface, could be a glossy finish, wood, mirror, glass, plastic, metal, a must have, I told you. We applied two coats and let it dry for 24 hours. Now it's time to paint. We started with putty, which is a nice shade of light taupe. The next color is limeade and it's this interesting bright yellowish greenish. We applied it underneath putty and then slightly blended them. Keep in mind this is the first coat so you don't need to get like the best blending now. Keep the energy for the second coat. Make sure you pick up a small amount of paint to avoid brush strokes. Now we are starting to add the blues. Well, just one of us at the moment. Anyway, the color following is called the Gulf and is this super lovely, like a baby blue. And I blended it with the limeade. The next color is Peacock and is the prettiest and the boldest shade of blue. And I also lift up the peacock on both sides of the door. Our last color is Bunker Hill Blue, a quiet dark and strong shade of blue, which we applied on the bottom of the piece and then, yeah, blended it with peacock. We let it dry for about 2 hours and then we move working on the second coat. Started again with putty, applying it first on the top of the drawer and as I went further down towards the middle I had less paint on the brush which helped me have a smoother blending with the next color and it will make it look so nice and seamless, you'll see. Then I apply the limeade doing the same technique but from the bottom to the middle now. Then I dump the clean brush and I started to blend them properly using horizontal, vertical, side motions until I get the blending right. But don't forget to use water, keep the paint damp so it's easy to move it around. Then 
The next color is gold and I picked up a little amount of paint. Then I wiped the excess on a piece of cloth to do like um, heavy dry brushing on those um, details and then I did like a little blue shadow on the bottom corners of the drawer. I applied more limeade on the door so I can make a transition color between the limeade and the gold. But now I added more of the gold in like a V shape so when I come over with the peacock there will be a nice transition going on there. And also in between the carvings I will try to keep the gold visible to make the details stand out. And I carried on with my peacock, same horizontal, vertical, side motions, I added water if the paint started to dry and just blend blend. Now I added the darkest color and I started to add the most of the paint at the bottom and with the leftover uh, paint I had on the brush I went up uh, the door and just blending it with peacock. And at the end I randomly added some mermaid tail which I'm really happy I did because it gives a um, special touch to the um, whole blue blending. We seal the whole piece with three coats of flat clear coat using a synthetic brush to apply it and we let it dry for about two hours in between the layers. I applied black wax mostly on the bottom part of the piece and then with the leftover wax I had on the brush I just went up the door and over the carvings. I let it set for 15-20 minutes and then I buffed off the excess with a piece of cloth. After the clear wax has dried we applied the golden gilding wax and we took those details to another level. I picked up some wax and I wiped the excess on a piece of cloth and I applied it underneath the handle first and then just enhancing the details all over the drawer but very soft. But let's move working on the dark bottom part. How is this? I adore what the golden gilding wax did here. This brush was amazing to apply the wax. It's one of the artist brushes from Dixie Bell. Anyway, I applied the wax in a V shape and it looks so 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 good.
and this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time, bye!